Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. Today in this episode, we are going to talk about how to import a CAD drawing. If you are a Revit user, it doesn't really mean you, that you must abandon CAD. There are many different ways you can use CAD in Revit. And we're going to talk about just that in the next few episodes. So let's begin. Before I start importing my CAD file into my Revit, I want to ensure that my file is correct in my CAD program. So the first thing I want to check is that I only have the geometry that I need to import. A lot of CAD users like to have a floor plan, elevation sections, everything in the same file. If you're one of those, make sure to separate the drawing that you want to import from the rest of it. And you, this drawing should only contain the geometry that is necessary for you in that view in Revit. The next thing I want to ensure is to optimize my file size by purging everything that is not needed in Revit. So I'm going to purge every, all the items from the CAD file and optimize my file size. The third thing I want to check is my units. This is the trickiest part. Here in this particular drawing, I can see that my working unit is feet and inches. I also want to make sure that units in my CAD file is also set to feet and inches. So let's go ahead in units and check whether units to scale inserted content is also set to inches. If your units are set to metric and you're working in Imperial, when you're trying to import that CAD file, it's not going to come up correctly. So make sure that the drawing units in your CAD file is the same as the drawing units in the dialog box here. Now I'm going to zoom and extend to ensure that I only have the geometry that I want to import. So let's save this file. And now we are ready to import it in Revit. Let's go ahead and create a new project. I'm going to start working with my architectural template and create a new project. I want to have my CAD file as a base to start creating a Revit model on it. There are two ways I can import this CAD file. If I go into my insert tab, I have an option of link CAD and import CAD. The process of importing remains the same. However, if you link CAD, the CAD file is going to be linked to your Revit model. If you want to send your Revit model to someone, you'll also have to send the link CAD file along with it. The benefit of link CAD is that when the CAD file gets updated in the CAD program, that particular linked CAD file is also going to get updated in Revit. So you always have the latest CAD file in Revit as well. The import CAD, however, is an imported CAD file in Revit, which is going to get attached to your Revit model. So if you're sending a Revit model to someone, you don't really have to send the CAD file along with it. It already gets attached and is sent. The disadvantage to import CAD is that if the CAD file gets updated, the imported CAD file will not get updated. The process of importing remains the same for both of them. So let's try one of those. Let's go ahead and click on link CAD. And I'm going to find my CAD file. And these settings are quite really simple. The first setting is about color. Would you like to preserve these colors in your layers in CAD program? Or do you want to invert them? This is mainly because a lot of people like to work in black background. And while converting the, those colors into white background, you might want to invert them so they are visible in the white background in Revit. Or you would like to make everything black and white. So it's really up to you how you would like to bring your CAD file in Revit. I'm going to make it black and white. Layers, do you want to import all layers or only the ones which are visible or you have a specific choice of your layers to be imported? I'm going to have all layers imported. Import units. Now this is the tricky part. As I said earlier before, when you're working in CAD program, make sure that units that you have drawn is the same units as in the drawing units in CAD program. And those units also need to match with the import units here. Generally, if units are correct in CAD program, the auto detect will detect it correctly. But if it doesn't, you can manually set to the requirement of your file. The positioning is auto origin to origin by default. You can make it whichever way you would like. So if you like the center of your CAD file match with the center of your Revit or the origin to origin, or if you're sharing coordinates between uh, the two files, you can also use my shared coordinates or you can have manual origin and manual center. I'm going to make it auto center to center. So the center of my CAD file will match the center of my Revit file. And I'm going to say open up. It looks okay to me, and especially in case of units. And you should always go ahead and check your units whether it has imported correctly. 
So units in my Revit file is in millimeters. So let's change units to feet and inches and ensure that we are working correctly. So for here, my wall should be nine inches, which it is. And here, my room size should be 16 feet, nine inches and 11 feet on the other side, and it is. So make sure after importing your CAD file that your CAD file is visible in correct units. When you're importing a CAD file in a particular view, if you go into any other 3D views or any other views, that file will also be visible to you. If you don't want this to happen, for example, if you're importing multiple floor plans on multiple different levels and if all of them are visible in 3D view, it gets a little bit more crowded. If you don't want to do this, then there's another option while importing. So let's go back to link can. And I'm going to use the same file and same settings, except I'm going to switch on current view only option. By switching on this current view only option, I'm ensuring that that particular CAD file will only be visible in this view that I have imported in. So if I go into my 3D view, that is not there. That's not visible there. This way you avoid overcrowding your files when you're importing too many CAD files. Another thing I want to tell you here is that if you're working with link CADs, you can also go ahead and manage links and see all the link files that is imported in your project. So here currently I have one link CAD file that I have imported. If there is a change in the CAD program in that CAD file, you can come back here and reload that link in order to see the changes. If you have finished working with your CAD file, but you still don't want to delete that from your project, you can come back here and unload that file in order to remove it from your views. This is only temporarily unloading, so you can always come back to manage links and reload that in order to reload it in the same position where you have imported before. At the end of the project, if you think the CAD file's job is finished and you really don't want that CAD file lingering around in your Revit model, you can always come back to your manage links and permanently remove that file from it. It's like deleting that file. In order to get the file back, you'll have to re-import it from scratch. So when working with LinkCAD, the Manage Links option really helps you to manage that CAD file within your Revit model. So this was the first step of importing a CAD file in Revit. In the next episode, we are going to talk about how to use this CAD file and manage it in order to create a Revit model, keeping that CAD file as a reference. So please make sure that you subscribe. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.